Okay, we're a little late. We're running to catch the boat. Because we're going to the city today. Okay, 229. ever been to Seafair <laughs> and we've lived in Washington well I did not our whole lives but you have pretty I, much yeah yeah and I mean I only moved Except away what, Korea yeah I mean yeah so I mean basically we're we're yeah. both solid Washingtonians at heart and we've never been to Seafair I grew up watching the hydroplanes on TV my dad oh, really? would always yeah he would always have the hydroplanes on and watch them but my dad doesn't do city, <laughs> so we never went to Seafair. My experience with Seafair is was when I was working at Pike Place, and the Seafair Pirates would come through. I don't even know what that is. What are they're, they? See, they're pirates. Okay. They, they like dress up like pirates, and then they speak like pirates, and they like maybe think they are pirates, or maybe they are pirates. I don't know. They're pirates, and they like come through pretty obnoxiously, but they're pretty hilarious. I love it. And they just like do Pike Place. I love it. We're going to Seafair today. There's going to be an air show. There's hydroplane races. I've heard there's food. I don't know. No. We were talking about that briefly, but uh, Classic yeah. Classic car show. Classic car show, which may or may not be happening. We either missed it or it's an all day thing. So not sure which one yet. We're gonna find out. We're behind the um, streetcar which I've never seen in Seattle before. Seattle has been upgraded since I've lived in Vegas, I feel like. There's it so has. many different things and so many new things. So it's, it's all very different. Okay, we're meeting a couple people, Becca's boyfriend and also old Trying. coworker. Yeah. Yes, so we're hanging out together. It's gonna be a fun day. We're going to uh, get situated and, and make our way to Seafair. Making our way. There's a ton of people actually still walking in. I'm yeah. surprised. So this is gonna be super fun. So we just got in. Oh, she's so cute. We have this whole army set up here. Um, National Guard is reaching really hard here. So this is the inside of Seafair, which is like a basically a big fair, which should be super fun. Oh, we have Air Force here. That's cool. Oh, Navy. <laughs> I love it. We found a spot next to the water along with all of these people which should hopefully be pretty exciting. Shore patrol. <laughs> oh, look. That is awesome. Look at him go. Look at that white one go.
I had so much fun this weekend. You would have loved it. I bet you, I bet you, you would have. How's the window though? Is that treating you well? <laughs> yeah. Check it out, I'm so excited. Everything in our bedroom is basically put together at this point. So we have everything over here. I have to figure out somewhere to put the candles. These are the candles. You guys know my love for Bath and Body Works candles, um, specifically the fall scents. I don't really care for candles except for like the fall and winter scents. And so when the fall and winter candles come out, I buy all of them, not literally, but a lot of them, and I hoard them for the rest of the year so that way I can list, smell leaves all year long. Um, but yes, these are some of my favorite ones. And um, Blake picked the great outdoors and winter. I love winter though, winter smells good. I also have this the Seattle one that I've had forever. I haven't burned it yet though. I think it's supposed to smell like coffee. Anyway, the point is, is everything in here is basically put together at this point, which is awesome. Um, I'm not sure what to do with these boxes. It has our, all of our bedding in it. So we have like lots of really big blankets and stuff like that in there. But um, our house is kind of slim on the closet space. So I think I'll end up putting it in the closet, except check this out. This is our closet. It's like pretty freaking full at this point. Like we have all of this here, all of our clothes. This is like winter stuff. And all of blankets and stuff like that are down here and then I talked in the last vlog how I did like a test podcast episode. Recording that right there, yeah. <laughs> Which actually, it sounded really good on my end. It's just um, Blake's end that we have to work on it a little bit. Anyway, I had so much fun this weekend. I don't go to Seattle that often. I, I consider it like my hometown when referring to the general area, but the city itself, I don't go to very often. I used to all the time and man, I was a slave to the ferry schedule. I know that Seattle's kind of known for like having the ferries and it's something you do when you go to Seattle and it can be, it could be a really cool experience, but man, I did that every day, twice a day for like a year or two because I was commuting to school in the city and it was, that was the commute that I had to take every day. And it's really interesting when you kind of like think about it like that because I don't think a lot of people realize that is a commute that people do every day. <laughs> Both my parents commuted to the city for over a decade, um, for a really long time. And that was, you, you take, you're a slave to the ferry schedule. It's insane. So after the Blue Angels did their thing, we left pretty soon after that. And I didn't vlog anything because I, I always get into like, catch the ferry mode. The ferries have a set schedule and a set time. And then if you miss a boat, you have to wait like between a half an hour and 45 minutes, depending on how late it is for the next boat. Um, and then sometimes it can be even later. Like we have a couple boats that um, you don't, like if you miss one, you have to wait like two hours for the next boat. And so people who are used to the commute and do the commute every day, know how much of a slave you are to the ferry schedule. You you are running to the boat almost every, oh, man, I don't miss running to the boat. Because the thing is, is like you get to the ferry terminal, you scan your ticket, or if you do it every day, you probably have an Orca card, which is like a, a what I would imagine a subway ticket would be like for most people, like a, like a reusable one, a refillable one. If you miss that boat, you feel this, immense weight of dread and like, ugh, it's the worst feeling ever. So um, yeah, the Blue Angels flew and I was like, I gotta get back because I gotta catch the boat. And that's pretty much what happened. Thankfully, it worked out in my favor because the boats in the summertime typically run decently late. And I, there's this app you can get that's like called like Vessel Watch or something like that. And it shows you like a live map of where the boat is in in the sound and like how close it is to actually docking and how close you are to actually getting on the boat and so you can kind of get a pretty accurate view of how close the boat is and how much time you have until it leaves without you <laughs> and thankfully what ended up happening is we left traffic was crazy but we started driving to the ferry terminal and um i got there and I had like 10 minutes to spare before the boat left. And so it was perfect timing. It ended up working out and um, I caught the boat and I drove home and it was, it worked out as well as it possibly could have. Yitty! The cat is like crying in the living room. She's been very like 
weepy today. Maybe weepy's not the right word. She just really wants attention today. She comes up to me and just meows at me and it's it's so cute. It always melts my heart. I'm really glad I ended up with like a talkative cat. <laughs> anyway, now that I am back home and it is the beginning of the next week, I have some stuff to get done today. So we're going to end the vlog here. For today's question of the day, have you ever seen the Blue Angels before? If you did, where did you see them? How did you like them? I personally love the Blue Angels. I don't see them very often at all, but when they're in town, it's always really special. I, I think it's just always a really fun experience to see the Blue Angels and just, I don't know. I'm not somebody who feels very patriotic very often, but every time I see the Blue Angels, I'm like, that is so cool. Like I just geek out a little bit, so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Bye.